Today's Engage the Rage rally included many speakers ranging from candidates for the upcoming election to community leaders. Of the hundreds of Oklahomans who were here, they say they were here to fight for their rights. Some Oklahomans believe the trigger law banning abortion here in the state is hurting their freedom. The Supreme Court of the United States simply said, you know what states, you decide what's best for you and your population. And our lawmakers decided to put in a trigger law that limits access to some pretty important health care for women. So the trigger bill, there's a 1910 law that's on the books that abortion is a felony in Oklahoma. That has never gone off the books. But with Roe v. Wade, it became uh, invalid. We could not enforce it. And community leaders say this isn't just a protest for women. It's important for everybody to show up for this. Um, I think a lot of times we get siloed into this is a women's issue or uh, people with uterus. It's, it's their issue to fight, but it's connected with everything. At one point during the day, a member of the ACLU of Oklahoma took time to apologize to those who were not old enough to vote in the recent past. We apologize and we're sorry because we promised you a world that was going to be better than what we had. I really and wish I could have voted. And one younger protester who was there for the apology says this. It was heartfelt to me. The people of Oklahoma have decided through their elected leaders and the governor signed uh, legislation making abortion illegal in the state of Oklahoma from the moment of conception. I'm here to fight for those people who couldn't fight. Protesters called this event Engage the Rage and said they hoped to use it as a way to encourage others who are pro-choice. We're going to find like the answer to freedom is right here. Colby Terrell, KOCO 5 News.